Alright guys, we got something to look at today. It's a new box mod. I love this mod. It is a dual 18650 wired in parallel. So both of your positives are up. It vapes on a full charge of 4.2 volts. This one comes from Comp Vape. It is the aluminum version of the El Cabron box mod. Now it's not out yet. It's not available on the website yet. Um, I happened to stop by SWMO Vape Shop in uh, Mount Vernon, Missouri. They had a couple of these. I guess they hosted a vaping event and Comp Vape came to the event and that's how they got their hands on them and that's how I got my grubby little paws on it. But um, this thing is sick. This is a sharp box mod. Anyhow, I am Steve Perry from SmokeyInTheBandwidth.com, and I am slaving over a hot atomizer to bring you the best electronic cigarette news, views, and reviews available on the World Wide Web, and this is the El Cabron Not Quite Mechanical. Ah, I want to call this a mechanical box mod, but I really cannot call this a fully mechanical box mod. Here's why. Alright, and the first thing we need to point out is this is not a mechanical mod, if you can see down in there. Uh, you got a wire that runs from your positive button over to the 510. Other than that, this would be a mech. This is your contact that comes down and basically uh, this contact, let's separate these, um, this contact uh, sits in the top of the mod with this insulator in between it and the mod and so it sits in place like that and it's held in place with screws and then your other post like this one runs through here and when you depress the firing button it comes down and hits that so that's the way this mod works but I just wanted to clear that up that that is not a fully mechanical mod because you do have the wire that runs in there all right, so this not being a mechanical mod aside, fully mechanical, I should say. Um, here she is. There's the front side, and that's El Cabron. That's your goat right there with the El Cabron uh, Comp Vape Design USA. This is, um, we'll call it the non-firing side. I like to hold it in my hand like this and fire with my thumb, but you can also comfortably hold it in the hand and fire with your finger. Um, here's your 510 connector. Now, I'm not sure. Obviously, this appears to be copper. Now, if you look down in there, let's see if you can. There, um, after this amount of time, I would expect to see basically exposed stainless steel if this was just copper threaded, copper plated, excuse me. It has the appearance that this is actually copper. The one thing that stops me from fully saying it is um, it almost has an anodized type of look to it, almost like a rainbow finish, so I'm not sure. Again, the specs are not up on the site, so I'm not sure that this is actually copper or if it is just perhaps um, an anodized finish. I don't know. I've had no problems with the threading yet, but just be aware that that could be threading and copper which of course is a weaker metal so it could break down got your magnetic back door now here is one problem that I've run into is this magnet down here if I lift the door up and there you see it the magnet pops up so um, it just snaps right back into place but the problem can be averted by simply sliding the door down inside the mod this is going to be the first uh, problem that some of you have with it is you have to undo these screws to remove the batteries. Now, not a big deal as far as I'm concerned, but some people aren't going to like it because it's um, extra work. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a good thing because make, you get good conductivity without having to use a spring or anything like that. 
and then up here in the top these are also adjustable um, if you want to use button top batteries you're gonna have to um, basically screw these in a little and that one doesn't seem to want to screw at the moment there it goes I had it all the way out so uh, those can screw all the way in which will give you the room to use um, button top batteries but we got our copper contacts here again the button comes down and hits um, the copper plate sends the power through a wire over to the 510 connection and that of course is the positive uh, it is marked in here for positive and negative for the batteries obviously positive up on both sides this is a this mod is wired in parallel and then on this side here we again have the El Cabron engraving with your serial number engraved on the mod this again obviously is the black version of this mod it's gonna come in a polished stainless steel um, I believe a just a regular silver colored aluminum and maybe a couple other colors I really don't remember but it has the shape and the look of the other uh, El Cabron box mods but this is indeed made out of aluminum so it is very in my opinion um, when paired with the El Cabron atomizer it's a very uh, very sharp looking device now another thing is it it does have that um, the 510 pin is not floating but it is adjustable so I've been able to flush mount everything on this device I don't think that one's perfectly flush mounted at the moment but um it's not again you know a floating 510 a spring loaded probably works better uh, for you know it's it's more convenient but you're gonna get a better connection um, I think eliminating the spring and with the uh, screw in adjusted as you see right there and it is threaded the same way as the mod which would be a problem for some I kind of like it because you could just tighten the atomizer down once you get a connection on the atomizer you could definitely feel it hit but if you want a flush mount you just screw it all the way down like so and when you get to the end just give it another turn and then it automatically adjusts itself um, the screw turns with the atomizer to get down to that level but you still have a uh, connection there to make a good contact so that's basically the long and short of the El Cabron at uh, El Cabron box mod by comp vape of course there's the El Cabron atomizer sharp looking little couple so let's go ahead and give this thing a vape and we'll talk about whether or not you need it. So that's all the stuff you may or may not care about. What you do care about is how does it vape. That's going to depend on what you put on it. What I've got on it is a .120 ohm build um, on my El Cabron atomizer, of course. And the thing vapes great. Now the real advantage to a dual battery box mod, as far as with the parallel, uh, with the parallel box mods, is that you get a harder hit than you do on a single battery mech. And the reason for that is that the batteries are splitting the voltage drop. They're splitting the work, so there's less voltage drop um, when you use two batteries together. And it makes for a hard hitting mod. As you can see, I mean, the thing is just, it nails it. I don't generally vape lower than 0.12 ohms. This is what I got this set at. Nothing gets hot. The button doesn't get hot. The mod doesn't get hot. Of course, it helps that you've got the, the uh, heat sink fins on the bottom. But nothing gets hot on this device the batteries nothing I mean it just it, it works you get longer battery life of course depending on how you're vaping how long that will be but you do get longer battery life with the dual parallel box mod do you need this mod well 
Yeah, I mean, you need this mod. First off, it's comfortable in the hand. Now, these points down here are a little sharp, as are these points up here and up here. They, they're a little, a little sharp. They're not... When I hold it in the hand like this, it's perfectly comfortable. Um, when I hold it like this, you avoid all the sharp spots on the mod, and you can finger fire it. But again, it's not uncomfortable to me to hold it like this. And I have had mods that were sharp at points, making it uncomfortable, uncomfortable to hold. This is not one of them. You need this mod because it's nice and compact for a dual 18650. You need this mod because it just looks sick. You need this mod because it hit, hits hard. Um, you just need this mod. Now, you don't need it because, of course, you have to unscrew these. I can't totally say that's a negative. I happen to like it that I have to unscrew these to get to the battery just because I know it gives me a good connection. Another reason why you might not need it yourself is the uh, 510 pin having to be adjusted with a screwdriver as opposed to a spring-loaded 510. And another reason why you might not need it is it's not fully mechanical. But on the whole, when you factor in the pros and the cons, yeah, you need this mod. It's a very sharp looking device. It performs flawlessly. I've never had a misfire on this thing. I've been using it for a little over a week now. Never had a misfire. Uh, everything that I put on it flush mounts. I vape tanks on it. I vape a couple different drippers, twisted messes this stripper tanks i have vaped the uh silver play v2 the arctic sub ohm tank and uh from horizon everything i put on it flush mounts performs perfor performs flawlessly and of course that's dependent on the build for most of those devices but it's just a great little mod whether you're vaping in the low sub ohms and you need the dual batteries to handle the amount of amp draw that your your build is pulling from the device or whether you just want longer battery life out of your mechanical device this dual parallel wiring is going to work out great for you and i highly recommend the el cabron from comp vape thanks again to southwest missouri vape shop for letting me get my grubby little paws on this excellent little mod. Uh, go pick one up. They still got one there if you're local. It's not on their website. They mostly only sell juices. A little bit of hardware on their website. I'll put a link in the description. But um, they've got... When I was last there. I don't know about today. But they've got the polished version of this mod there as well. And I almost got that one because it was serial number 99. The price on this thing is basically, I believe it's going to be in the $90 range, so it's affordable, and it works great. What else can you say about a mod? Anyhow, something that people get on me for, I never say subscribe, so if you like the video, if you like the video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, you can give it a thumbs down if you want. Leave me a comment, tell me what you think about it. Do whatever you do. I'm going to do what I do, which is keep the shiny side up and the dirty side down, the bugs off my glass and the bears off my ass. Eights and sixes, keep it between the ditches, and we'll catch you on the flip side of SmokeyInTheBandwidth.com.